This week on Common Grounds TV. We visit a roaster and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. We continue our search for the grandfather of coffee. And we debunk the magnetic hill. Anytime we get to visit a UNESCO World Heritage Site, we get pretty excited and Lunenburg did not disappoint. Founded in the early 1700s, the town boasts the best preserved British colonial settlement on the continent, as well as beautifully preserved historical buildings. Lunenburg is also known for building ships. Canada's world famous Blue Nose and Blue Nose 2 both set sail from here. The first crashed into a reef off the coast of Haiti and sank and the second remains in active service today, sailing out of Lunenburg every summer. My wife and I were living out in Seattle. She's a Caledonian, she's from out here originally, and wanted to come back this way for a while and be around her family. And uh, oh. at that time, the political situation in the U.S. was not ideal from our point of view. Okay. And we moved out here and yeah, wanted to do coffee, but uh, the town's not big enough to support the coffee shop strictly. So we got into the cafe business. Okay. Um, and now we're moving strongly back into coffee because that's where the, the real interest lies for us. Right. And Laughing Whale came from uh, a desire to say something about this environment. I mean, you know, the, the Maritimes, hence the whale. And the laughing part is kind of a sense of humor that, you know, this part of the world is known for. Maybe Newfoundland steals a little bit of that thunder, but we have it too. <clears throat> well, it's a, it's a lovely location. And one of the things that we have loved about the and what drew us to the area was the fact that it won't change dramatically. I mean, there's so many places in North America that you've dropped on a street corner in any city, in any province or state, and yeah. you wouldn't want to wait for it. I mean, it's the same stores, the same everything, yeah. you know. And that's not what we wanted. You know, we, we, had, we wanted a unique, unique environment, and we think we have a pretty unique product. And it kind of builds off the heritage here. I mean, the Blue Nose schooner was built here. Mm -hmm. with the, the, traditional craftsmanship here that you can see all around you in the gold. After endless stories about the eccentric godfather of coffee, Steve Arino, we finally managed to track him down after he'd been surfing in the frigid waters of the North Atlantic. So this is going to be a traditional cappuccino, but it's going to be what's called a monk's cap version, which is just doing the milk a little differently. So I'm actually going to steam the milk first. Normally you make the shots first, but for a monk's cap you want to set the the foam up a little bit. So this is going to be a double cappuccino. Uh, 
And there's a double short cappuccino monk's cap version. And it's called a monk's cap because if you look at a monk from from the from the, the ceiling down on his head, this would be his cap and that would be his hair going around on the rim. And there you go. Cheers, thank you. Sure. New Brunswick, where are we? We're in the heartland of Canada, literally it's called Heartland. That's right too. Heartland Brunswick. I wish I could say we planned this, but we found the world's longest covered bridge by accident. At 1,282 feet, it's so old that they didn't even measure it in metric. I'm surprised they didn't use cubits or something. And it's really fun to drive through fast. New Brunswick is home to many national historic sites, among them Magnetic Hill and the Bay of Fundy. Unfortunately, the speed laws are so lax that we simply sped through the majority of the province. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a two-part thing. The first part is a, a red eye, which is a dark roast with a shot of espresso. The second half, the red bull. What's yeah. it called, Nick? It's called the red bull's eye. Here in Fredericton, New Brunswick. It was an unexpected stop, but uh, a delightful one. So far, the town, from what we've seen, is absolutely beautiful. It's just historic building after historic building, and everything's been beautifully maintained. Huge amount of history here, and uh, I think it's time for us to go see if we can find a decent cup of coffee. Sadly, the only coffee we found we can't show you is the proprietor was so rude, we were more inclined to get back in the car and speed through the remainder of the province in search of the magnetic hill. Stop, put your car in neutral, and then it'll coast up the hill. Maybe we just did it wrong. We might have. Because we went kind of down to a little dirt turnaround and tried to come back and it just kind of coasted into did the Did you turn your stuff. car around? Yeah. No. Has it has to be in reverse? Back it up. It comes down backwards. We're trying that again. And we're going to give this thing a try. So uh, the instructions read as follows. Driving to the right lane at the bottom of the hill. Pull over to the left lane beside the white post, place vehicle in neutral, release foot from brakes. Alright, let's see if this works. This is downhill though. This is just downhill. We're just coasting now. This is not magnetic or... This isn't magnetic or magical or anything. Nothing. Maybe we go to the flat spot and we'll see what happens. This is just gravity. <laughs> There's just nothing special about this. It doesn't seem to be so far. This entire tourism stop is a total hoax. Uh, at least we got in for free. Maybe they turn it off. Alright, stop here. Uh, well, no, it's it's doing its thing right now, actually. Well, we're just coasting. Stop, though. Why stop? Well, just let's see if it'll... Because we're facing downhill. I think their instructions need to be revisited. We're not going uphill at all here, are we? No, I don't believe we are. How can you tell? Oh, well, the water's running up the hill for one. What? The water's running up the hill. This is a total hoax. Running up the hill? Yeah, this is a great tourist attraction as long as it's not raining. But unfortunately, this is eastern oh. Canada and it always rains. Hang on a second. Look, the water is flowing downhill. We're, we're facing downhill right now, though. Yeah, this is downhill is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, let's see if we roll. And <laughs> we've come to a halt. All right, your summary of Magnetic Hill? Total fraud. Doesn't work <laughs> at all. It's not a hill. It's just a bit of a ditch. It's a bit of a dip. It, yeah. So there you oh. have it. Magnetic Hill. A total sham. I'm going to go with Busted. Well, we tried it, nothing happened. We just coasted down the hill and stopped. Did you go up where the yellow post is that tells you to stop? We thought we did, yeah. How far up the hill is it? There's a white post on the left. Yes. Down about 100 feet. Post. It's been so long since I did it, I can't tell you. Really? Um, so what's honest, the, is, is it, it an illusion or what is the deal? It's an optical illusion. So, yeah, okay, that's what we thought. Because we just followed the water on the road. The water was going. Yeah. So really it's just a total hoax, isn't it? 
Well, not it's not. It, 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 it's, it's, <laughs> I'm not saying your entire livelihood is based on a myth or, no, a, or but a lie, but but we are, and it is. We get a chilly reception in Quebec. The king of all things coffee in Montreal shows us a new level of quality control, and we take the chilly reception personally. 